guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Grecian goddess tutorial. As you can see, I did the hair <laughs> and outfit and makeup and I'm laughing right now because Tessa's laughing. <laughs> Greek mythology has always been a big interest of mine because I love the mythology and the heroes and goddesses and the togas, you know, and then the culture. Um, but that's why I'm really excited to do a Greek goddess makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the hair right now. So first you are going to braid two sections of your hair in front and now you're going to take a one inch curling iron and then curl your hair and actually after this you're going to roll it up into like a little ball and then pinch your hair with a bobby pin. This is a pain in the butt but it really does look really pretty in the end when you take it out. It's all looks and flowy and this is how it should look like in the end. It's like a mixture of Anakin Skywalker and George Washington. Now take your favorite foundation on your fingers and put it on your chin, cheeks, and forehead and then blend it out with a stippling brush to give it a really flawless look and then you are going to take some concealer. I have butt ugly dark circles so that's why I'm putting some on but if you don't have any then you can obviously skip this step. Then just conceal any other blemishes that you may have. Be sure to set your foundation with a powder. I'm using Maybelline's, which is my favorite. Then you're going to take a very understated pink blush and apply that on your cheeks. Don't forget to use a highlighter or liquid illuminator because goddesses are immortal and they're supposed to have kind of like that glow. Now I'm going to take this CoverGirl eyeshadow trio and take the lightest shimmeriest color and apply this in the inner half of my lid and then also put it as a highlight. Now take the second deepest brown color and apply this in the outer half of your lid, I guess. Um, and then you are going to take a smaller brush with the darkest color and put that in your crease. Now I'm going to take this Sally's Girl eyeshadow, and I love this eyeshadow, um, and just apply this in the outer corner. It really brings the look together. Now take your most pigmented brown eyeshadow. Mine is coming from this NYX palette, um, and I'm going to take this on an angled brush and sweep this on my upper lash line and my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take white eyeliner and line my waterline. Now curl your lashes and then apply your favorite mascara and I'm using my favorite which is L'Oreal Extra Collagen. Now take some false eyelashes. These are Adele 110s and they really do make a difference to the look. Now for my favorite part, the lips. I'm going to be taking a nudish brown lipstick, which is the Glam Gaga 2, and just pat that on, and then I'm going to take a lip gloss that looks so pretty. It looks like it was made for this look. The Stila Lip Glaze in Kitten, and this looks just amazing with this lipstick. All right, now it's time to take out the creepy George Washington hair. Um, so you're gonna take out the bobby pins, and this takes forever, but it's so worth it. And then you're going to take the braids that we did at the beginning, and then tie it on the back of your head to give it like a kind of organic feel. So just don't move your head, because the sun will blind people. Yeah. Hey guys, so <laughs> One. No. 